Howdy everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Truck Talk brought to you by me, inspired by Chili. I'm going to tell y'all a little story real quick. When I was 19 years old, I got kicked out of the Navy for a pericardial cyst. When the Navy kicked me out, I went back to my little home in Northwest Georgia where I was born and raised and I spent about a year there back home. And uh, while I was home, I went to visit an old friend of mine that I had kind of grew up with, right? And he had he had moved into a, a little shack up on top of a mountain. We called it the Coon Shack, all right? It was, it was a little house where when I was younger, we used to tie all of our coon hounds out uh, on chains all around this shack, and that's where, that's where they all stayed at. Well, he had moved in in this little shack, and uh, this, this guy, this friend of mine, he was my age. He came from a middle-class home much like me same upbringing he had uh he had all the same physical ability and mental ability that i had if not more and um went up to visit this guy and we got to having a conversation and somehow or another it turned to uh him telling me about how him and his wife were on food stamps now we're both ni- we're both 19 years old able-bodied men and he starts telling me he's on food stamps and I can't figure it out because I've never took a handout in my whole life, especially from the dang government. And uh, I've always put in some effort for the things that I've earned, money I've earned. You know, I thought that was the way everybody thought. So this was my first kind of time running into somebody with this mindset. And he said, yeah, man, these food stamps are nice, dude. We don't even have to pay for our groceries anymore. And, and I'm sitting here racking my brain. I'm like, dude, what's up with that? Why Why are you getting food stamps? Why don't you just go out and get a job? And he said, well, you know, everybody else is. Why wouldn't I? Why, why, why don't I get a piece of that? Why don't I get what's mine? Everybody else is doing it. Now, let me now tell you how real men think. All right? Real men will find themselves in situations in life where they're going against the grain. They're going against the grain. And a lot of times it causes friction in their, in their life because they become abrasive to other people at times, kind of like me. You're going against the grain and real men ask themselves, why am I doing what I'm doing? And the answer is, I'm doing what I'm doing because if I don't do it, who else will? If I don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. I ask myself all the time, why am I on this freaking YouTube doing these videos like this? If, if I don't do it, who else is going to do it, right? That's how real men think. You know, the old excuse, everybody else is doing it. Why don't I? Boy, that's got people in a lot of real bad situations in life. You know, everybody else is getting drunk. Why don't I get drunk? Everybody else is running around on their wife, cheating on their wife. Why don't I do it? Feels good, right? Uh, everybody else is fat. Why should I? Why am I worried about being fat? You know, that young man that was living in that coon shack up there when I was 19 years old, I can about guarantee you, unless something has drastically changed, his situation in life has not changed very much from living in that coon shack at 19 years old on food stamps with an able body. If you ever start to look around you at what everybody else is doing and you start to think, you, you start to think that looks real appealing and you want to go the same way everybody else is going, just know that ain't going to get you nowhere in life. But when you look around you and you look at what you're doing and it's going against the grain and you might even be catching heat for it and you ask yourself, why the crap am I doing this? You're doing it because nobody else will do it. And you, my friend, are a real man. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Truck Talk. If you did, if you get anything out of these, man, come train with us. Buy a hat, buy a t-shirt, support the companies like Barbell and Hoist. They support this channel. We love you guys. I'll keep them coming. Hope you got something from this one. Enough said.